Hey, I'm Marlena Hamilton, and this is Just for the Health of It, and joining me as always is Casey Stutzman. Now, Casey, what are we working on today? Today I want to have a conversation. Okay. And, and we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between movement or activity mm -hmm. and exercise, because okay. sometimes we kind of mar the lines and we think we're doing exercise when it's just more activity. So just simple definition, if we're really looking at what the difference is between mm -hmm. the two, exercise is going to be something that is going to be challenging. And challenge exists at all different levels. So challenging an Olympic swimmer is different than challenging someone who's just getting off the couch for the first time. Mm -hmm. But something that is not easy, has a little bit of challenge, and is, is going to, in a sense, force our body to get a little bit better. Okay. So a little bit healthier. So we have a list. Yeah, we're going to the drawing board, we're, aren't we're, we? We're going right to the whiteboard. <laughs> Um, now, okay. actually, the, the whiteboard has been beautifully done. My handwriting is atrocious, so uh, mine is too. So Marlena I'm hooked sorry up about on this. this one. I made her do some <laughs> extra work here. So I want to touch on a couple of these different ones because these are all great things that we can do right here in Michigan, mm -hmm. um, and, and talk about which one each was. So, what do you think walking would be under? Walking would be under an activity. Walking is activity. Yes. Now, it's important to fill up our day with as much activity as possible, mm -hmm. but we can't always look to walking for our exercise. Now, okay. but if you're just getting started and haven't done anything, walking can be great exercise because it can offer some challenge, but very quickly, mm -hmm. it's going to turn into an activity. We need to start increasing that level of challenge again. Okay. What about golf? Golf? I would, I would call it an activity. We're, we're going to yes. put golf in the activity one. Okay. Play golf. Get out. It's mm -hmm. awesome. It's wonderful. It keeps you up and vibrant, but we're still going to put it in that activity okay. section. What about tennis? Tennis, I would definitely say, is an exercise. Tennis we're is moving challenging. around a Absolutely. lot. Absolutely. We're moving. We're getting out of breath. Swinging. Yes. We're sweating. Yes. There's challenge. You can't mm -hmm. play tennis for four hours. No. What about skiing and snowboarding? I mean, I definitely say that's an exercise because you're moving around. So a that lot. is a great one. This mm -hmm. can toe the line. Okay. If I'm on really easy hills, just kind of meandering, taking my That's time, true. short period at the time, it can be an activity. Aggressive hills, fast skiing, lots of turning and cutting. So this is a great one that can be either or, whatever you want it to be. Mm -hmm. Great snow activity and great, great, you know, yeah. Good stuff snow in Michigan. Activity, yeah. Hiking and snowshoeing, I would definitely say, is an exercise. Yes. Now, again, yeah. we can toe the line on this one. It can be more towards activity. If okay. we're on light, easy trails or low snow, mm -hmm. deep, heavy snow, long distances, rocky, heavy trails is definitely going to be more exercise because it's very challenging. With snowshoeing, yes, definitely. Swimming. That is definitely an exercise. We're going to go for exercise on that one. We are going to go one. for exercise. Yeah, swimming's great and an awesome thing that we can do in the winter, too. And then finally, Running and jogging is definitely an exercise, which is something I need to do a it, little it bit more It is definitely of. an exercise. <laughs> and the great thing, we can take things like an activity like walking, and we can start to add just tiny little bits of jogs or tiny little uh -huh. runs into your walks to increase the challenge, and we're good to go. So definitely all these great activities and great exercises for the winter. So thank you, Casey. And there's something that you guys are doing tomorrow for Superstorm Sandy. Can you talk a little bit about that before we wrap yes, up? Yes, absolutely. Um, there's a very special project. It's, uh, uh, Todd Durkin is a trainer out of California who's originally from the New Jersey area okay. and he has started an impact foundation in order to support relief and effort for the Hurricane Sandy victims and, and, and all the devastation over there. So he has gathered a, a group of trainers all over the country wow. to, to help support this event. And we're so excited to support Great. it right here in Alpena. So tomorrow. Yeah, what time tomorrow? At 8 a.m. Okay. We have a special Urban Mix workout right down here at Bay Urban Fitness on River Street, right across from Cabin Creek. And it's going to be a 90 minute impact workout um, led by myself and Rick Houchin. So okay. you get two coaches. That's great. And it is totally free. We're mm -hmm. just asking for a $10 donation. 100% go to the Hurricane That's Sandy great. Relief. So yeah, definitely tomorrow if you want to get a workout and help support Superstorm yes. Sandy, then definitely come tomorrow to the Bay Urban Club at 8 a.m. Well, thank We're you, excited. Casey. Thanks, and we'll see you next week for Just for the Health of It.